Like this video pretty much it mainly has to do with fresher bit but mainly all the podcasts because the one of the things I have a problem with I mainly fresh fit do this a lot. Is that they like to fucking like bash women for politically correct answers that they give. And they, they're like, we don't do that politically correct shit, you know, here. We, we, we keep it raw, you know. And if you've watched some of my videos, you see how raw I can be. Um, and I just don't think that they they put on a good front. I mean, they're, they're raw. Don't be wrong. They're, they're raw. Um, but they just... And Brian from the Warrior Podcast does this too about... You know, you can see... I mean, he's mainly... He acts like fresh, fresh a lot. But every now and then... Um, you see that admiring in him and Brian. But he's mainly like fresh. Um, and... I just, I've, I've come to notice, that, I mean, one, all, all these podcasts, they all have the same guests. Like, they're, they're, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, you see a lot of fucking guests that they all have on their whatever podcast, Pearl, and, and Fresh and Fit, and maybe not a lot of new ones that I've come across, like, unfiltered, um, and shit like that, but most of them have the same podcast member, uh, guests. But my main issue is just how, like, they like to portray that they don't do the politically correct stuff here. But me, personally, I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not letting that dude talk to me stupid. There's no way in hell I'm going to let a woman talk to me in any form or manner that some of these women talk on the show. Like, I'm sorry, no, shut up. Like... Bring back the old phrase, you know, if I wanted to hear hear what you have to say, I'd jing them all zipper. Um, <laughs> but I'm sorry, like, no, like, and and then when we get all defensive on these shows, like, oh, you don't care about what I think, all that, it's like, no, not really. Um, if you want to, I mean, I'm, I mean, talking stupid, talking, you know, this and all that, I mean, it's not that we want retarded bobbleheads. We want a woman that's has a brain, you know, and it's just, you know, it doesn't, like, it's better at following, you know, enough brains that she can follow a command, but not enough brains to where she wants to break my path, my plan, and try to put her own two cents in, when I already have a plan to dealt with, and I've, I've thought about for a minute, and I don't, I don't need it, um, doesn't mean I'm not going to hear it out. But just know that there's a 90% chance that I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, so, like, you know, the women on the head of the Press and Fit podcast, it's just, they try to act all intelligent and intellectual. I'm not saying women can't be, and there's not some out there that are. But they just like to, like, <clears throat> and, then when, and then when they get proven wrong, they want you to prove your factual based opinions that's common sense prove it that they're right when it's you know very logical sound based truth if you actually thought about it I don't need a proof that common sense is common sense um <clears throat> and it's just I mean but men I mean I think we we just live in reality we don't, like Myron says, we don't get that luxury on uh, living in delusion and being retarded. Because like, I'm sorry, but yes, I'm with Myron. If men acted like these women, we'd have a bigger simp problem than we have now. And a lot more violence. And a lot more school shootings. And a lot more drug overdose. And a lot more men dying from, you know, suicide. Um, and that's another thing with all these podcasts. They, they want to use these bud word, buzzwords. Like grape, corn. It's like just say porn and rape. I mean, that's reality. That's what it is. Um, like, why are we sugarcoating? Like, oh, I get triggered when I hear the word rape because I was raped 10, 20 years ago. Okay, that doesn't mean you were raped right now. That just means you have trauma that, that, was, dealt, that was given to you 20 years ago that you haven't dealt with. 
Like, that's all that means. So deal with it. <clears throat> Men don't get that luxury. Like, <clears throat> oh, my environment, you know, I made bad choices. And? So what? Um, women get bailed out. Fucking every excuse uh, out there. I mean, um, I mean, men get called fat, retarded, you know, virgins, and then, you know, it hurts and all that, but we move past our, you know, and we build off of it. You know, you don't, you're not even allowed to be fat phobic, you know, when it comes to Lizzo. Like, bitch, you are overweight. I mean, you know, I mean, not, I mean, not every guy, and not most guys are Hercules, okay? I. Right. We want a woman that we can throw around a little bit in a fun way. Not an abusive way. Um, but yeah, this just mainly goes out the fresh for fit about how I just... I don't think you guys are as raw as you think you are. I mean, Myron, I think, has... I think has actually... I, I wish more people were like Myron. You know, because I can't... Say, you know, Chris and Fresh, they do a lot of stuff that girls do, like... Um, they giggle, make jokes about shit. Like, and Myron, I mean... Is Myron's a little bit more why so serious kind of person. Um, he has his joke manners, you know, with uh, you triggered my trap card, you know, and you know, emotional damage. That's fine, what's whatever you keep the keep the room light. But I just can't stand when like a lot of these women you guys have on your pod on your podcast and, and serious topics and you just have and when you're trying to make a point and actually help these women out. It's like they want them to just giggle and laugh like little schoolgirls and not really take it. Because you know that's a self, self-defense self mechanism that, where it shields their brain for anything to go in because it goes against what they how they feel. So they just start giggling and it puts up a shield. So anything logical, face-based, you know, facts can't get in there and help them and get them out of that misery that they're putting themselves in. You know, and I think it's funny. It's like, I mean, if you ask, like, Myron, when you used to do it, to be, I think, DEA agent, so it's like he had, he had to learn how to read the room and all that, you know, and ask questions a certain way and pay attention to certain psychological cues, and whatnot, and how they word it and how they act when they talk. You know, so it's like, you know, reading a, a chick and how she acts and thinks is like child's play for Myron, I think. Um, Zerka, he, he's an interesting character. Um... I think I would love to actually get um, Myron, Zerka, and Andrew Tate. Maybe Tristan Tate for a little, you know, different aspects on Andrew Tate's mindset. Um, but get them, those those four, like, in a room. And have those those ones talk, you know. Or have the whole Fresh Pet community and the whole Andrew Tate, you know, squad and the Zerka squad bring Pearl in there, you know, a few other people, I can't remember their names, I don't really know, you know, um, but, you know, have them, like, you bring Jordan Peterson from a psychological aspect, I think he's, you know, he's got that compassionate, you know, like, realistic, compassionate, empathy, sympathy aspects, or he doesn't like what's happening. You know, I don't think anybody, any of these guys like what's happening. They're just, they, it's reality. I think if women actually started coming up with thought processes about how to fix the problem or how to, you know, instead of how to bitch about it uh, and understand that, well, you know, I mean, it is true, you know, but if I don't like it, what am I going to do about it? You know? And then, honestly, I also come to realization that there's just some things you're not going to change. I'm going to leave it at that.